Good morning everybody and this is your DAX day trade setup for today. So uh, another green day, that's uh, what's that? five in a row at the moment and uh, this area that we are now in, um, and we'll see on the lower time frames, I think we've closed just just above it, but um, you can see the congestion to the left. This is a, a critical place at the moment. The next thing is this trend line. Okay, so we're in a relatively critical spot and uh, we're going to have to pay careful attention here. Um, I still suspect we should be looking for longs. If you just look at the weekly at the moment, that's a very bullish weekly bar there. So you can see we had a strong move up, kind of looked like we were rolling head and shoulders. And there's probably a lot of people that are still trapped holding on to that head and shoulders as well. Um, so this acceleration is just going to start triggering uh, any other stops. So traditionally people would be taking the break of the head and shoulders or the stop above the right shoulder. Um, so you probably see those um, sort of wide stop loss traders um, starting to get a bit worried and starting to look for exit points at the moment. Okay, so just bear that in mind. Look at the weekly. It's uh, has a pretty bullish start at the moment. Let's get down to the lower time frame. So uh, first things first, we have not closed the gap yet, uh, as I suspect said yesterday um, this trend line has basically held us up so just want to tidy the trend line up that it is correct okay there we go so that is our trend line you can see tagged it and we're kind of just going sideways at that moment um, futures market is slightly down at the moment well slightly 0.6% down after a 2% gain yesterday so um, Asian markets are slightly down. Not to, not going to read much into that at the moment. Uh, it seems to be the norm at the, right now. Asia down, then Europe opens, and then uh, sort of sideways for a bit, and then we start accelerating as the US comes online. So I still think the the gap should tag. And remember what I said yesterday: the gap, the gap gets closed. That's a trend line break. Okay, I suppose it depends on what time frame. Um, if it if you get a three hour close up near the gap, that's decent break if we get a, a, a three hour pin bar here then a different story okay but the trend is up and uh, right now I would be looking for some kind of a pullback to buy off okay and I just want to add one more level which is this pin bar here that hasn't been tested you can see this area here a breakout down we used it as um, resistance here but we haven't used it as support so this area here uh, 12341 does excite me for a potential entry looking at the hour um, this is also consolidating uh, um, if I draw that in there and uh, just use your imagination here I don't want to dirty the chart anymore so if we draw a line down there you've got a triangle what does that mean it's a flag flag means if it breaks to the upside we're looking for a measured move like that and um, let's just go to the left and see what that is previous highs here I'm looking for previous lows there's a previous low and a test of it and even more to the left okay so that's kind of my play at the moment I'm looking for consolidation and a break to the upside so let's just do this let's keep that level in let's keep that level Let's keep that in and then we can delete the rest of the noise. Okay, so we're looking for a break here and I think the easiest way to do this, well I suppose we've got a break to the downside if I'm not mistaken. One sec guys, 12, 4, 60 is where price is at the moment. So we're down here, yeah, so we do have a break to the downside already. So let's put that in. 12,470 so we threw 12,470 so I think probability here what you want to do is just line up with these inside tails so there's the first one there's the second one and just going to swing across to the right just to double check it yep that's two perfect areas okay so that's what we're looking for first place we're looking for is 12 uh, 12,450 if that gives way then you do have um, 12.339. Bear in mind, if we get that far down, that erodes all of yesterday's uh, work. 
uh, which would mean the possibility of a gap close as well. So I would expect this is the area to watch. Okay, 12,450, find some support here, and then we're looking for a move to the upside. Again, uh, drop down to 50 minute when you see this. You probably find there's a bit of a trend line going to form here as well. Something like that. And if I draw the top one, that triangle becomes a, a wedge. Okay, so that's kind of the view I'm looking for. Uh, bear in mind, this trend line here is what we need to pay attention to. So you probably find a break up there, pull back into structure here, perfect area to buy, and then you're looking to attack this line first, 12667. Uh, get through that, and then the next step is 12827. Okay, anyway guys, it's uh, buy the dips for me. Extremely bullish at the moment with um, the daily bars. And uh, stay safe, keep those stops tight, and uh, we'll catch up with you next week. Anyway, cheers for now.